fully on NBC Bay Area. Two years and $6 million later, they're still not working. Tonight, our investigative unit is asking why VTA's credit card readers are still not functional. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski has followed an intriguing pa paper trail. A couple of issues here, Tony. Lost revenue and really, what's the delay? Well, Raj, VTA says this delay has cost it money, both in lost ticket revenue and an extra staff time. Tonight, VTA's management, embarrassed to admit, coming soon is still not here. Next station, Cisco Way. They're on every platform. Exit to the right. Big, bold signs reading no cash, no worries, coming soon, a debit credit card option. When somebody says coming soon, what do you expect? I expect it soon. I expect it to, them to follow through. Stephanie McEwen rides VTA every day. It's been a long time coming, so soon is not soon enough, in my opinion. There's The credit card um, is not, it, they don't have it all installed yet. Um, it's only cash or uh, coins. He's a VTA oh, okay. security guard answering our questions on hidden camera. When do you think it'll start working? They said they were going to start it, you know, last year, yeah. but I have no idea. And as you're about to see, he's not alone. This contract signed in August of 2009 started the process. Every time you go to pick a price for a ticket, it says, oh, no debit, no credit available. And it's like, okay, well, what if I don't have cash on me? It's not going to work. A building frustration that also includes VTA's own employees. It didn't take my credit card. No. Yes. And it has been yes. for 22 Station. years. I would not yes. hold my breath until it ever does. They right. promised it would be active three years ago. We're still waiting. Our investigation discovered a series of delays and management missteps inside VTA. In fact, two years ago, VTA's marketing department paid for those signs on machines at every platform, making that bold promise coming soon. It does say coming soon. We have no idea. It's been coming soon for the past three years. Internal emails reviewed by the investigative unit point to a series of missed deadlines. Starting with this February 2010 memo, a VTA staff member writes, we are looking to put debit credit card processing online by May of 2010. They missed that deadline. Then in October 2010, this memo reads, is there a definite date when the credit cards will be activated? A ranking VTA manager responds simply, no. Acceptable? No, I don't think so. Chris Lepe advocates for transit riders in the South Bay. What's the message there? That the agency maybe doesn't have their act together. Don't you think they would make more money if they had those credit card machines working? Of course. People would be buying their tickets. And that loss in revenue continued. This October 2010 newsletter told riders working debit credit card machines were, quote, nearing completion. And they haven't been able to fix it after three years. Yeah. They should. They we're in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley. Could that have been available 10, 20 years ago? Absolutely. And then in May of 2011, with those signs still in place, this internal memo asks, what is the ETA on accepting credit cards at ticket vending machines? A top VTA manager responds, I would still guess nine months. Taxpayer money has paid vendors to produce a system that would take credit cards. Yes. And it's still not working. That's correct. General Manager Michael Burns is VTA's highest powered and highest paid executive. He's trying to explain why after two years and more than six million dollars, VTA riders still need cash to ride the light rail. You've got two years of memos that said this was going to happen and it still hasn't happened. Is that a failure? Well, it's clearly a problem. And this May 2010 memo exposes a clear lack of confidence inside VTA during the early stages. Referring to the coming soon signs, it reads, I don't think we will be accepting credit debit cards before fall. And in brackets, it says, I won't say which year. It concludes, guess it depends upon what your definition of soon is. What does coming soon mean to you? Coming soon? Um, a month? Two months? No. Soon. If I Whatever said, soon is. So if you're saying that... Uh, it was probably a mistake to put those coming soon signs up. I would say you are right. We shouldn't have done that. We should have waited until we were totally sure that it would be coming soon. 
BTA's general manager says problems with software and difficulties in meeting credit card security standards are partially to blame for the nearly three years of delays, leaving regular riders pushing for a quicker yeah, fix. No, it is a little frustrating. Um, personally, I, I wish it had happened sooner. I wish we did have it now. Ultimately, millions of tax dollars later, VTA has failed to meet riders' expectations. The very same riders who can use their credit and debit cards to buy tickets on BART, Caltrain, and San Francisco Muni. But I can't at VTA. You'll be able to in August. Coming soon. August. Coming soon. August. Now, as we have reported, VTA has the highest fare evasion rate in the region. VTA fare inspectors told us they believe the non-functional credit card machines are contributing to the increased number of free riders on light rail. Also, VTA tells us none of the delays has been caused by the private company contracted to install the credit card equipment. And finally, the message remains coming soon. The new deadline date is August. And Raj, we will follow up.